On Saturday, the 20th of July, 2019, a great man and philanthropist of repute, Vice Admiral Dr. Joseph Ajayo retired. The Jagumulu of Uwe Land, Kaba, in Kogi State, organized a Thanksgiving service to mark his 70th birthday and the 10th anniversary and relaunch of Vice Admiral and Mrs. Ajayi Education Foundation at Our Saviour's Church, Tafar Balewa Square, Lagos. Vice Admiral Joseph Ajayi was born on the 1st of July, 1949, in Baliko Kaba, Kogi State. He attended St. Barnabas Secondary School, Kaba Town, before gaining admission into the Nigeria Defense Academy, NDA. On completion of his officer cadet training at the NDA and midshipman course in the United Kingdom, he was granted a presidential commission into the Nigeria Navy, NN, as a sub-lieutenant in 1972. Vice Admiral Joseph Ajaya retired, is a hydrographic, oceanographic survey specialist. He attended a series of military courses, both locally and abroad, prominent among which are the basic hydrographic survey course in India, advanced hydrographic and oceanographic course in the USA, staff course at the Command and Staff College, CSC, among others. He was the flag officer, sea training before his appointment as the Chief of Defense Intelligence. He was also Deputy Defense Advisor, DDA, London, from 1991 to 1995. Defense Advisor, DA, London, during the difficult period of a diplomatic face-off between the British and the Nigerian government between 1994 and 1995. Vice Admiral Ajayi retired, has contributed significantly to the development of Kogi State, especially in the area of employment, provision of water for some schools and markets in Kaba Town. He has also been rendering assistance to some religious organizations and groups in different ways. Vice Admiral Joseph Ajaya retired, launched an NGO about 10 years ago named Vice Admiral and Mrs. Ajayi Education Foundation, which is a non-religious, non-political, non-profit organization, basically set up to support the educational needs of children of widows and the underprivileged of Kaba and the Kale towns in Kogi and Ndo states. And since the inception, about 100 candidates from different universities have benefited from the foundation. Vice Admiral Joseph Ajayi retired is married to Mrs. Rachel Ajayi and they are blessed with five children. In attendance at the event were Commissioner for Education, Science and Technology, Kogi State, Mrs. Rosemira Shikoya, who represented the Governor of Kogi State, Elahaji Yahya Bello, a special advisor to the Kogi State Government, Navy Commander Jerry Modara retired. Former Governor of Ocean State, Chief Olagunsuyu Nyilola, Naval Officers, Royal Fathers among others. The Thanksgiving celebration and 10th year anniversary and relaunch of Vice Admiral and Mrs. Ajayi Education Foundation featured hymn renditions, Bible readings, prayers, the Holy Communion and a sermon. of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, 
Brethren, whatever soever things are true, whatever soever things are honest, whatever soever things are just, whatever soever things are pure, whatever soever, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things, those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and the god of and the god of peace shall be with you this is the word of god in his sermon the bishop of kaba diocese right reverend stephen akube reiterated that 70 years on earth is worth celebrating while explaining the reasons for the thanksgiving right reverend stephen akube pointed out that we should always praise honor and glorify god he noted that giving back to humanity attracts more blessings from God. I believe our celebrant today has come to thank God. When you have time, go through his biography, go through the pedigree, go through all of that that God gave him grace to achieve in 70 years. Impressive pedigree. And as I read through, in my mind, in my heart, I say, each level was the demonstration of the grace of God. Each stage was the demonstration of the mercy of God. Because it's not by might, it's not by strength, it's not by intelligence, it's not by connection, it's not by anything you think you have or you are, it's simply by the grace of God. For the race is not for the swift, neither for the strong, but it's of God that showeth mercy. And indeed, these 70 years, Vice Admiral, God has shown you mercy. God has shown you grace. You have a wonderful wife. You have great children. You have great grandchildren. That is the grace of God. Money cannot buy it. Connection cannot buy it. Intelligence cannot buy it. Nothing in the world can buy it except God give it to you. Jesus said, is there anything that's given to any man that, is, that he has not received from heaven? No. During the Thanksgiving session, Vice Admiral Joseph Ajayi retired was joined by his immediate family members who danced happily giving glory to God for another wonderful year added to the life of the celebrant. Vice Admiral Joseph Ajayi retired. <laughs> The church service ended with a happy birthday song and a photo and video session. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you.
The reception party for the 70th birthday Thanksgiving celebration of Vice Admiral Dr. Joseph Ajayi retired was held at the Naval Dockyard, Victoria Island, Lagos. Dignitaries present were the Commissioner for Education, Science and Technology, Kogi State, Mrs. Rosemary Oshikoya, who represented the Governor of Kogi State, Alahaji Yahya Bello. Navy Commander Jerry Modara retired, Security Advisor to the Kogi State Governor. Chief Kayode Olofimoyi, former Governor of Ogun State. Former Chief of Defense Staff, Air Chief Marshal Ulushei Petiri. Former Chief of Naval Staff, Admiral Omashala. Nigerian philanthropist and estate mogul, Sir Uluoke Owu. The Chairman of the Island Club, Prince Philip Kola Bumere and wife. Former Chairman of the Island Club, Prince Demoladada and wife led the prestigious members of the island club to the event to celebrate the celebrant vice admiral joseph ajay retired who is a worthy member of the island club the chairman and ceo biscon communications prince basil atilo naval officers serving and retired royal fathers among many others the reception commenced with a grand entry of the celebrant after which the bishop of kaba diocese Right Reverend Stephen Akube led in the opening prayer. The representative of Governor Yahya Bello of Kogi State, the Commissioner for Education, Science and Technology in Kogi State, Mrs. Rosemary Oshikoya, in her address, pointed out the significance of education in the society. Mrs. Rosemary Oshikoya, who noted that education is the most important sector in any society, said it should be global. That there can be no sustainable development in any country and a country can never arrive beyond the level of the education of its people and the quality of its teachers. So when every stakeholder, particularly those who are not within the government circle, put forward the encouragement of supporting education, like the Vice Admiral is doing today, we would have done something not just for ourselves, but we would have left legacies that would outlive everyone. I would like to say, Vice Admiral, thank you because you are playing the right of what you should have been in the first place. Later on, Nigerian philanthropist and estate mogul, Sir Uluoke Owo, who was the chief launcher, appreciated the celebrant Vice Admiral Joseph Ajaya retired for his philanthropic gesture, particularly the ones channeled towards the education sector. All we think of is what can we do in this world? Not what we can do for Nigeria. In the secular world, we are selfish. In the spiritual world, we are selfish. We don't think of others. But yet, we go to churches, we go to mosques. What we do represents the goal we have. Where do you stand with God? Are you saved to somebody's life or you are selfish? Are you open minded or you are narrow minded? Today I celebrate this quintessential man. A man who directed intelligence in this country. A man who is straightforward. And I pray that the club will be given many, many, many more years in the land of the living. This was followed immediately by a series of donations in support of the Vice Admiral and Mrs. Ajayi Education Foundation, after which the celebrant. Vice Admiral Chief Joseph Ajayi retired 
was joined by family members and friends as he cut his beautifully designed birthday cake. Honor the Father, honor the Son, honor the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord! The celebrant, Vice Admiral Joseph Ajaya retired in his remarks, acknowledged and appreciated the wonderful contributions of his friends in his life over the years. The money you have donated today, we will use it for the purpose. I'm old now, I don't need the money. So don't think eh, Ajaya will touch that money. Even with my pension, I will be at me. So that the people can continue to enjoy what we have in the foundation. Please, we will let you know how we are spending the money. We will let you know those we are going to sponsor. We will let you know those who are graduates, who are, who are graduates on, from uh, the foundation. And God Almighty will do it for us in Jesus' name. We will continue to assist and we will continue to call God to help us. In Jesus' name. I'm very grateful to all of you. If I do continue, I don't think I will leave this place today. I will not leave. I know for taking your time to come and celebrate with me, oh God. God will celebrate you. God will honor you. We are very grateful. Next was the special dance of the celebrant. And he was joined by his family members and friends who displayed very attractive dance steps all night long. <laughs> From BSCON Communications, we congratulate Vice Admiral Dr. Chief Joseph Ajayi Retired, the Jagumulu of Uwe Land, Gaba, in Kogi State, Nigeria, for successfully celebrating his 70th birthday anniversary and the 10th anniversary and relaunch of the Vice Admiral and Mrs. Ajayi Education Foundation.